Welcome to this week's Extreme Bible Stories. You can see we're here again at the pool, but this week I'm hoping that I won't get as wet, okay? Because the story we're going to do this week is based in the New Testament and it's Jesus calming the storm. Now the amazing thing with this is that they were in a boat. At no point did the boat capsize, the boat didn't sink, okay? No one decided to wash in the boat, so hopefully, okay, this week we should stay quite dry. Okay, the only thing I will say is that I may get a little bit splashed, okay, um, because we're going to try and recreate the storm, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so sorry, not too dangerous this week. But anyway, back to our story. Jesus' disciples have been teaching, or rather Jesus has been teaching, okay, and he decided it was time to go to the other side of the lake, the Sea of Galilee. So he said to the disciples, come on, let's get in our boat, let's go across. So that's what we're going to recreate now, I'm going to get in the boat, okay. Now, as I said last week, the boat was broken but the boys have assured me that they fixed the boat okay so you have fixed the boat yes absolutely and it's safe i can jump in it I think. it's fine okay right so i'm going to jump in the boat and see okay so here we are now if you remember the last time i tried to just step gently into the boat end up smacking my head with a net okay look back into our miraculous catch of fish story if you want to see a funny blooper this time we're just going to jump straight in okay so here we go ready okay one two Three. You said you'd fix the boat! What? This is the This is the boat! They still brought him to the boat! What? Jesus and his disciples were in a boat. Oh, and they went sailing across the sea. Sailing across. That's the end of my boat. Okay, I should have done Paul's shipwreck, shouldn't I? And here they were. And suddenly, anyways, came across a bit of a storm. Right well, his head. A bit late head, now, isn't it? Well, the storm got a bit worse. I completely <laughs> missed the disciples and hit the hedge instead. Anyway, Jesus was asleep in the boat. I was going to lay down and be asleep in the boat. Jesus was asleep in the boat. Hang on. Jesus was asleep in the boat. The disciples got really worried because the storm got worse and worse. They were absolutely scared that something would eventually end up coming into the boat and actually swamping them and they would end up dying. They woke up Jesus and said, Jesus, you've got to wake up. You've got to save us. For goodness sake, we're all going to drown. So what Jesus said to them? He said, why haven't you got any faith? I said we were going to the other side of the lake. We'll get to the other side of the lake. And he stood up in the boat, a bit like I am now, but probably looking a lot more impressive. And he said to the wind, and he said to the waves, peace be still. What that meant was, just calm down. Just calm down. We're going across the lake. And all the wind stopped. And all the waves stopped and the rain stopped and suddenly the storm just stopped. The disciples were amazed. The disciples actually said, who is this man? He can speak to the weather and it listens to him. There's been a few times over these last few days when the rain has come down that I wish I could speak to the weather and it would listen to me. But Jesus was able to do that because he was the God. He was the son of God. And you know, we're going to finish there because once again, my boys have played a bit of a trick on me and I'm soaking wet. Okay, but what I will say, and I'm going to leave you with this, okay, when the flies get up my face, I'll leave you with this. Jesus said he was going to the other side of the lake. The disciples should have believed him in the first place. He wouldn't really need it to have calmed the storm. Because when God says you're going to do something, you're going to do it. When God says he's going to do something, it's going to happen. So if God has promised you something, then you believe, and you may find out one day, Maybe next year, maybe tomorrow, maybe way in the future. You'll see that God did answer it. Now I'm going to sail back now across the lake. Oh, here I go, sailing across the lake. I will see you next time for more extreme Bible stories. Bye.